It's hard when we can't protect each other from stuff like this. In moments like this, I remember that our queer ancestors fought so hard and lost so much. Tearing up, reading it. Ah, they are the reason I'm not scared to lose my job and that I know I'm doing the right thing. And they always reminded our community that we are the lucky ones. She's the epitome of queer joy. Fierce advocate, an amazing educator. They're the ones that taught me that um, as important as GSA and other affinity clubs are in our schools, how to combat bullying the most, because that's important for those kids to have a space. But teaching LGBTQ history in the schools, they showed me the research that shows that that is more powerful even than having a GSA club, because that affects all students. When they're all learning about LGBTQ history, then it, it decreases bullying, it just makes it a safer, community for schools. January 2023, there was an article published that they were interviewed for. My understanding is that the reporter said, I want you to talk about this trans student that you had and how you supported them through that transition. There was this big photo shoot of them and their student and they felt really good about it. When the article was published, it ended up being about parents angry that they weren't notified that their kids were transitioning at school. They started getting death threats because Fox News picked up on it. They were just totally, totally under attack. The district had to turn off their email because of the death threats and the, just the nasty, hateful messages. Despite death threats, Olive continues to advocate for students to be a safe person at schools. They're teaching at a new high school in Bakersfield and their administrators, when, when they were interviewed to transfer over to the new school, they were asked about, you know, we know you're a GSA advisor, we want you to keep doing that. Uh, I think that's awesome. And, and I just remember being struck by all of a sudden, this is the first time that my queerness has been an asset for a job rather than a liability. I'm proud of Olive. I'm proud to be their friend. I'm proud to be their colleague. I'm proud to be a fellow advocate, educator. The world is a better place because of Olive.